everyone. Welcome to my studio. I'm Julie Mazzoni and I want to show you eight ways to say I love you with mosaic art. For this next way of saying I love you with mosaic art, I found this lovely frame. I think a Goodwill. It was about a dollar. So good luck finding one. It's just kind of a hit or miss thing. But I thought this would make the perfect substrate. And the thing I haven't done yet is ceramics. So I'm going to cut out some of these roses, which I have already done. And I'm not going to make a vase because I already did that. Instead, it's just going to be um, some loose flowers. And then I was thinking of making a bow on it. I have some new untested Seabell mosaic scissors. So I'm going to try cutting some things up. I've got some pink. I was thinking maybe this for the background. I have these plates, these are my plates, and one broke, so that's where that came from, with some tiny bits of yellow just to mix it up. And then, because I can't do anything without adding something special, I've got these beautiful beads. I know they're not ceramic, but they match so well. I love them so much, and I even have some smaller faceted ones, so I might be adding these as well. They're just so pretty. I'm not gonna score it or anything, I'm just gonna try them, let's see. That was easy. So I like these. Ah. Nice. Let's see how it works on this. So easy. Wow. Just like scissors. Oh, I like these a lot. Easy. These florals, what I've been doing is nipping as close as I can to the actual flower, and then I take it to the grinder and grind it so that it's nice and smooth around the edges and I can put it in uh, the mosaic because I don't want it so choppy looking. So I'm gonna get this really close. That's pretty good. I also have this bag of butterflies that someone donated to me and they are already cut. So I might put a butterfly or two on the floral. That's it. it. Looks like after I use the grinder on it. And here is the same rose that I used the grinder on before. So they do come out a little bit different just depending on how you cut them and how you grind them. really nice about this frame that I picked up is that the inside is three by five, the same size as an index card. So I'm going to use this and build up my design over here. And then I'm going to put my adhesive in and just transfer the pieces. So I'm going to dry lay it over here. So I think that works for me. I've got the general composition. If this leaf is too big, I'll trim it. I'm gonna try to angle it just a little bit so I can get all these things on there. And I'm not gonna put the background in until, or cut the background until I've got it in place because it's just getting too fiddly here with all the loose pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it. I mixed up the thin set, let it slate, and put it in this baggie. And now I'm just gonna snip the corner off so I can pipe it and control where it goes.
those pieces in and now my thin set has skinned over so it's no longer good. So what I'm going to do is just, as I place the pieces, I'm going to remove some of the thin set and put some fresh thin set on the back of the pieces. That's it. set on this little bouquet is because I wanted it to be nice and clean on the back. So I'm going to wait for that to set up, then I'll grout it, and then I may or may not come back in and layer some flowers on top. I have not yet decided, so I'll have to wait till after it's grouted to decide that. The reason I use the thin set is because I had some different thicknesses on this material. The pink uh, was really very thin, and the green stems were quite thick, and that allowed me to embed the, the stems in there further uh, so that it was more even on top. All right, it's the next day. This is all nice and set up. I've mixed up my thin set. I let it slake, and I'm using just a gray sanded thin set. I am going to go ahead and add some of these roses on top. There's still a little bit of depth here in the frame, so even if they come forward, they're not going to be sticking out. And I'm going to use E6000 for this step. I just have to be really careful that it doesn't show. I'm also going to add these beads, but because this is flat and I'm not embedding it in any thin set, I'm going to cut them in half so that they stick better. And I'm going to use E6000 for this stuff as well. this one came out it's very sweet and there's some contrast between the frame and the artwork that's in the frame which makes it interesting I think very pretty though that's putting it together thanks for watching see you next time